I'm going to show you how to do a proper wheels off detailing. So what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Pan the Organizer. So my viewers often ask me to do a full blown tutorial on how to do a proper wheels off detailing. So what is that? Well, essentially it's removing the wheels off your vehicle so you can access the inner fender wells, the fender liners, the uh, suspension components, the brake calipers to basically clean, enhance and protect all those surfaces that are behind your wheels. We're also going to show you how to clean the tires and also how to protect your wheels with a ceramic coating to make them easier to clean during maintenance washes. So it's a jam-packed episode. And to help me, I uh, enlisted the help of my friend Rick from Rad Garage. That's an awesome YouTube channel, by the way, guys. And Rick does some fantastic work. I love to help smaller channels grow on YouTube. And uh, Rick Wall is a friend of mine. We often exchange emails and talk a lot. And he has the same views and techniques as I do, especially when it comes to a wheels off detailing. I'll make sure to include the links to all the tools and products in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. And I'll also have uh, Rick's information, so the Rad Garage info again in the description under the video i highly encourage that you go check out his channel afterwards as well you're going to see just how awesome his footage is the quality of his work speaks volumes guys you're going to see uh, there's a reason why i have him as a special guest so you know the drill without further ado stay tuned let's go ahead and start the show Hey everybody, my name is Rick. Maybe some of you know me from my YouTube channel called Rad Garage. I just want to say thanks to Pan for allowing me to uh, be a part of this video project. Uh, what I've got going on here in the garage today is I have a friend's 2014 Audi RS5 in beautiful Misano red. And he's entrusted it to me for the weekend to give it a really good detail, uh, exterior detail. No holds barred, I'm going to be correcting the paint, I'm going to be doing a lot of things. But what I want to do today, and Pan, thank you for the opportunity, is to share a little bit of my process when it comes to doing the wheels and wheel arches of a car. So I have this car sitting on my quick jack lift. I'm going to be raising it up in a few minutes. Uh, before I do that, I'm going to break off the lugs. Uh, I'm, I don't like, uh, it's for me it's smarter to do that while it's on the ground than in the air. And I'll be pulling all the four wheels off and I'll be doing a really thorough uh, detail on those. These are his summer wheels, so I think he'll be storing these pretty soon for the winter, which is coming up here in Calgary in a matter of weeks, maybe days. So once I have the wheels clean, I'm going to dry them and coat them with Gion Rim. And then I'm going to attack the wheel arches and get, get them looking as clean as possible. So I don't talk a lot in my videos, but uh, I hope you'll enjoy watching me do my thing. And once again, thanks so much, Pan, for the support and for allowing me to be a part of this video. So it's nice to have Rick on the show. So before you go ahead and lift the car, use a breaker bar or tire iron to break the wheel lug nuts loose. Do not remove them completely, but turn them a quarter turn or so in the counterclockwise direction uh, to make them loose enough to unscrew while the vehicle is in the air. So to lift the vehicle, you have the uh, choice to use either a hydraulic lift, just as Rick is using here, or to use a car jack if you want to do it manually. It's a less expensive option. Uh, again, guys, I'll make sure to include the links to any products, tools, and equipment in the description under the video to make it easy for you guys to check them out. So 
So once the uh, vehicle is lifted, this is when you use your speeder wrench to finish removing the wheel lug nuts and then you remove the wheels and set them aside for later as we'll be uh, cleaning the wheels and tires and also ceramic coating them. We're first going to start by thoroughly rinsing the area, so fender wells, fender liners, uh, brake components, suspension components and whatnot uh, to remove any loose dirt and contamination that might be there. Like for any detail job, I highly recommend that you wear gloves and protective gear if need be. You don't want to expose your skin to any chemicals. Uh, and then we're going to use an all-purpose cleaner or a cleaner degreaser, as you guys wish. Make a proper dilution and we like to use it in a pump sprayer. That way it's uh, easier. You just pull the trigger and you spray it all around and that will start to break down any grease, any dirt, any grime. And you're going to use your brushes to thoroughly brush the area. different style brushes for different components such as the brake calipers, the suspension components. Basically agitate the uh, cleaner or degreaser very well and then again once you're done agitating thoroughly rinse it with your pressure washer or a garden hose if you have strong enough pressure.
clean the wheels and tires, you can uh, purchase an inexpensive wheel cleaning stand and that way you have access to clean both the face of the wheels and the inner barrels very easily. So we'll take a wheel and tire cleaner, spray it liberally all over with a pump sprayer, and then you're going to agitate the tire cleaner and that's to remove any browning on the surface and uh, any of those ozonites as well as any dirt and grime you fully rinse and then you uh, clean the wheel itself both inside and out with that uh, wheel and tire cleaner and your favorite scrub brush and then we're going to move on to an iron removing step and a tar removing step so basically chemical decontamination to fully remove any embedded contaminants uh, you can also run a clay bar afterwards if there are any uh, other stuff that you can't remove through chemical decontamination just keep in mind if uh, you do a clay bar stage uh, maybe you might want to use a light polish afterwards to polish any marring that uh, might have been induced during the clay stage so now that we're done with the uh, scrubbing and the initial cleaning with the wheel and tire cleaner, we're inspecting the work and we see some uh, tar deposits and other contaminants. So we're first going to start by spraying an iron remover. Uh, let that dwell for a few minutes. Never work in direct sunlight with chemical uh, products like iron removers or tar removers because you want to let them dwell properly. You can spray it on a wet surface or a dry surface as you wish. And then after a few minutes of dwell time, uh, work around with a uh, mitt, work that product in to further enhance the cleaning capabilities and the iron removing capabilities of the product because we want to make sure we remove any uh, specks of uh, iron particles which basically uh, eventually turn to rust spots. Those are those orange specks that you see on top of the clear coat of wheels and of vehicles. And then if you have any black deposits that you see here, um, basically that's usually signs of tar. So use a tar remover. Uh, tar removers and iron removers, by the way, are safe on ceramic coated wheels. So never be shy to use those. And so once you spray, uh, let it dwell a couple of seconds and then work it in with a microfiber towel or a microfiber mitt. And that should do a, a quick job of any tar deposits that your wheels might have. Once that's done, well, again, you're going to thoroughly rinse off. So as you're able to see so far guys, during a proper wheels off maintenance, we always start by cleaning the wheel area. So the wheel arches, inner fender wells, brake components, suspension components, wheels and tires, as typically all of those are the dirtiest parts of the vehicle. And you wanna get those clean before you go ahead and wash the rest of your car, which is what we're gonna do now. And after you're done cleaning the vehicle, we're gonna move on to the cool step, which is gonna to be to protect the wheels with a ceramic coating and then dress the tires to button everything Thing up and do a proper finishing detail. So now that the car is clean and the wheels are fully clean and dry, we're going to use an IPA, so an isopropyl alcohol mix or a paint prep that we're going to spray generously on the face of the wheels and the inner barrels and wipe it using a microfiber towel. This will help remove any residual polishing oils if you polish the wheels or any residue uh, that might interfere with the bonding of the ceramic coating to the clear coat of the wheels. So next, you're going to take your ceramic coating and put some on the applicator that comes with the wheel coating, or you can use a microfiber applicator pad or a micro suede applicator, whatever you guys prefer. Make sure you follow the instructions, guys, of the uh, ceramic coating that you're applying. That is key. Uh, typically, they have a curing time, which is usually around 24 hours without exposing the wheels to water or rain or the elements. And that way, you're going to give time to the coating to fully cure and harden on the wheels. I wouldn't wash the vehicle for the seven next days following the application so no soaps or chemicals used on the car 
and now you're gonna have fully coated wheels both inside and out which will prevent dirt from sticking to the wheels as much and make them well, way easier to clean during your maintenance washes and protect them against the elements and they're gonna look great all the time and for the finishing touch of course always apply uh, a tire dressing it makes it look awesome and it gives it that finishing touch that we all love While you're at it, if you have painted brake calipers, go ahead and use the same wheel coating on those brake calipers. It's going to help protect them as well and keep them looking nice. So to facilitate with the reinstallation of your wheels, you can always use a wheel lock bolt guide just like this and it's going to simplify things by allowing you to slide the wheel back onto your hub and then you're going to reattach or screw back the wheel lug bolts with your uh, speeder wrench or a cordless impact driver but don't over torque the wheels. You want to wait until you lower the vehicle back on the ground before torquing the wheel lug bolts to uh, the torque spec appropriate to your vehicle, always check the specs in your user's manual.
So I hope you enjoyed that guys. Basically now you guys know how to do a proper wheels off detailing. So remove the wheels, you're gonna clean, enhance and protect pretty much every single component that's behind those wheels. You also know now how to protect uh, the rims themselves with a ceramic coating. Again, I'll make sure to include the links to all the tools and products used in the video. I'll put those in the description under this video for you guys to check them out. Also, a big shout out and thank you to Rick from Rad Garage Detailing Channel. This guy does some fantastic work. Again, guys, go check out his channel, show him some love. Uh, make sure you check out his videos. He's not only artistic and very creative in the way he shoots the videos, uh, but he is very detail oriented and thumbs up to his quality of workmanship. Uh, that is exactly what a detailer is supposed to do. Um, absolutely love it. Great friend of mine. So guys, again, show him some love. I'll leave uh, the info to his channel in the description under the video. If you want to continue to learn more about car detailing, so all the products, equipment, tips, tricks, and techniques, uh, make sure that you click the subscribe button that's found under this video. And that way you'll subscribe to my channel and never miss my future videos. Uh, guys, by the way, if you like these types of videos where I have guests that I invite over from other YouTube channels, well, let me know which future guests you would like to, for me to have on the channel. Drop a comment in the comment section under this video. Uh, and also you can check out my Instagram page. You never know what original content I'll have on there. So check that as well. Uh, and yeah, thanks for being there, guys. Thanks for being faithful to the Pan the Organizer channel. I truly, deeply appreciate it. And yeah, as I usually say, thanks for being there. Thanks for watching. And in the meantime, don't forget, keep it tight, keep it clean, and I'll see you on the next one.